Now then, ladies, imagine going on 100 dates with 100 different men. Well, over, well, over in America, uh, that's exactly what journalist Heather Sellers did when she found herself divorced in her early 40s. Fed up with the single life, she decided to go on several coffee dates with 100 men in the hope that she'd eventually come across her Mr. Right and find true love. So when it comes to dating, um, do you think single women should just keep it to one man on the go, Zoe Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see now, <laughs> my best friend lives in America, okay, so she's got, when I go over there, she's got some friends and sometimes we go out and I talk to these um, friends of hers about dating. It's completely different over there. They, they have no problems with, so meeting up a man on a Monday, having a nice time, having a chat, and then he says, oh, you know, are you doing anything Friday? And she'll say, well, I can't, I've, I've actually, I've got a day, another day. And he'll go, oh, great, okay, so I'll see you Monday. Now, can you imagine, we just don't do that, do no. we? And I think, really, number one, because we're far more insecure as, a, as English men and English women, I do. And I think, so I've been on a few dates lately with just oh. one person, oh. let me just say. And the thing is, if somebody else now asked me, would you like to go on a date? I would automatically feel, oh, I don't know. I don't think I can. Um, and that's regardless of whether it's, yeah, but it's one, not two, serious. or three. I mean, even if it's, if it's serious, serious or not, oh, really? unless the guy says to you, uh, maybe, maybe it's me because I've had so many unfaithful men. It just makes that's that's the way it is. I mean, unless just, a man says to you, coffee, you go for a cup of coffee. No, but unless yeah. he says to you, we're dating and we're not exclusive and it's really casual and makes it, and you you know that, then fine, go off and have lots of dates. But I think it's never just I just don't. Coffee, no, anyway, is it? I wouldn't feel. <laughs> like well, a bit of cake if the man as well. says, let's just have coffee. You think, don't be ridiculous. Would you feel comfy? <laughs> I wouldn't feel comfy. Well, I'd multi dating. Comfy. I just wouldn't. I think Sherry would be happy with one date with one man. Wouldn't I would yeah. really. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. No, I'm. Um, I just think that when you go out on a date with someone, you know by the end of the date whether you want to see them again, sure. whether they're your type of person. Yeah. And, you know, you might think, well, he's a lovely guy, but he's not for me. Yeah. Um, and I, so, mm. therefore, I wouldn't want to keep leading him on by going on dates and then seeing other men at the same time and all of that. And, and I would feel, if I said to a guy, you know, oh, we could meet up again Thursday, you know, I'm free. If he turned around and said to me, oh, I can't because I've got another date Thursday, I would bop him. <laughs> would you? Well, well, I just think right, we'll, we'll really? get lost then. I'm not, I'm not going to wait till you've done your rounds and decide which one you want. It's like being, <laughs> but do you know. think that's different because that's a female perspective on it, whereas a man, if it was the other way around, a man might get a bit, little, little bit competitive and rather yeah. than being a bit complacent, saying, oh, she said yes for Friday, mm, right, okay. If she said no, there's someone else, he might get a bit more, oh, oh okay, you've got to try a bit harder. So yeah. do you think it would work that way around? I don't think. I think we should be more like men as women, don't you? <laughs> you know, the men, they go out, they meet a woman, and they go another one, and then another one, and they go, da, 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 get rid of them. And, and we it's normally when they're married to you. Don't yes, you? it's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is true. Oh. oh, oh I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry she's no, not I don't mean married to I don't mean married to you. I mean married to <laughs> yeah, you. I know. You know, no, I just <laughs> think we. I think women. Uh, intellectualized and emotionalized everything and we should just be like men we should just be blatant and go that one didn't work well I tried that one he asked me and you, you know if it's a coffee if it, it's not serious just go and meet yeah, as many as possible they're not necessarily going out with each date and looking for a relationship but we are every time we, we go are, out we go oh are. is he going to be in love with me are we going to get married are we going to have children tonight <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. that's exactly why I'm with yeah, me you date Ray. them and then get pregnant the next week <laughs> Sherry, though, I mean, you're talking about multi-dating and, you know, you meet someone and you want to be married to. Now, you, you, you ever done any multi-dating with the hope um, of getting married? Well, no, the thing is... <laughs> Take that as a yes. Sure, no, sure. I was engaged to three men at the one time. <laughs> but the point, no, no, but the point is, that's OK. That's OK, because I was only 19. No, it's not OK at it was any OK, because I just wanted the rings, really. <laughs> Three lovely rings, <laughs> and it, so it was okay. Well, did you but you have to keep changing the rings. Yes, it was really exciting. <laughs> Sometimes I got it wrong. <laughs> no, but it, well, that was just—it was fun and it was silly, and, and they all knew in the end, and all—all all three of them confronted me with it. <laughs> I went, oh yeah. And it didn't it get quite confusing? Because yes. I think it's confusing, multi-dating, if you're sleeping with them, then it's, then it's wrong, don't you think? Are you sleeping with them all? 
I'm not telling you. <laughs> But do you do think, you, you know, that it gives you... I'm not necessarily talking about the, you know, the three men and the engagement. That sounds like a film. Yeah. Um, yes. But, you know, if you have gone on lots of dates like this lady, then you kind of know more what you want, what you don't want. You, you've made more of a, a... Tick them off, cross them, I suppose. I suppose yeah. In a way. Like speed can, dating. Yeah. Meet someone, go, don't like his eyes, don't like his tongue, oh, don't like his nose, it's don't like awful. his... awful. That's like supermarket shopping. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll try this brand, it's cheaper. Yeah, but it's just... <laughs> it, you have to think of it just like a chicken, as they come along, whether they've got fat legs, big bum, no nose, you know what I mean? And you chuck the chicken out and the other chicken comes on, you'll have that one. Does it smell? Do we throw it away as it passed its sell-by date? That's what you have to look at. I think I'm... you've passed your sell-by date, darling. <laughs> Not nice. I'm getting really worried about you. <laughs> OK, it's time to get your woos ready.